In my previous video, I've spoken about brands that pre-exist in skate and stuff that I want to see in the future. But in relation to that topic, I will be talking about sponsors. But when I'm talking about sponsors, I'm not talking about the sponsors that you get whilst playing the game and the previous skate games. This is more in relation to companies working with EA and getting their brands in the game. Not in the sense of clothing, but more of like advertising in a sense and stuff that we use in the game. So first, I would go over all the stuff we've had in the previous skate games of course i have to talk about the shoes that already exist these are shoes that you can get in real life that you can unlock within the game i don't know how but i know you redeemed a code within the game and, and then you can just somehow order the shoe to your house or something i don't know it's a bit weird but it was in the menu brands that they made these shoes with was america and etnies that kind of stuff is really cool to me since them clothes are obtainable within the game for you to wear on your skater but you can also get them in real life besides shoes i know that etnies did make like merch for skate 2 which was obtainable through zoomies i believe and urban outfitters the shirt really didn't have too much on it. it had a skateboard and the text skate 2 there was a white one and there was also a black one i don't know if there's any more merch for the game but that's all i know good luck finding the shirt as well if you're looking the prices are ridiculous for the ones i found like people are selling it for like insane prices another company that they did a lot of these type of things with was actually zoomies in case you guys didn't know there's a spawnable prop that you can place in skate 3 which has the text zoomies on it but black box didn't just put the couch with zoomies written on it as well they did more than just that zoomies was actually one of the stores where you can buy the coach frank deck there was a yellow one and there's also a white one and they were only sold in zoomies that i know of i know there's probably other stores but i know it was from zoomies as well i'm not 100 percent on this fact but i believe zoomies also sold some of the skate merch but from what i know all i know is the deck most people already know about this but i'm gonna say regardless for people who may not know there's a lot of advertising for dr pepper around skate 3 there's a giant billboard with the logo of dr pepper on it and there's also a lot of vending machines with dr pepper on however there wasn't just that you can also get dr pepper merch for your skater and unlock challenges and a dr pepper man free to play skater kind of like meat man but it's a can the intended way that you were supposed to obtain this back in the day was actually from getting a code from a Dr. Pepper bottle. It will advertise EA and there was a code under the cap that you can redeem in game, I believe. And then you can unlock all of the challenges. But I believe like more codes you redeem, the more you unlock. I don't know how it really worked. But nowadays people just get it from importing other people who have it or just choosing like game saves that have the Dr. Pepper man. But you can get the challenges. If one of your friends have the challenges, you can just play with them. And then there you go. You've unlocked all the Dr. Pepper challenges by just playing at them with your friend majority of people already know about how miracle whip is in skate 3 like you can't avoid it there's advertising everywhere for it and even a prop but in 2010 miracle whip had its own contest which was held by black box and miracle whip as the sponsor the whole contest consisted of just doing a miracle whip over the prop so just doing the trick over a miracle whip prop and that's how you enter to win and the prize that you get for winning that was just an xbox 360 from what i know i don't know if there was more to it but that's all i know from it monster also had its own thing like this merch that you can see and advertising and vending machines and so on but as most people already know there was a monster jam contest which you can do in skate 3 which is in like this giant park which just has monster logos everywhere there's three stages to it i was always terrible at it but it was fun there is also a t-mobile sponsor there's advertising everywhere for it and the phone you use in skate that was all ran by t-mobile you see t-mobile everywhere skate had the sidekick phone and everything and using that phone allowed you to do a lot and finally there's also the stuff with control control the majority of the decks like the skate to dem bones deck you know how bad i want that a lot of other decks for like skate 3 and so on i don't know what they use for skate 1 i think it was control as well I'm not sure. But due to all of these companies being in the game and sponsoring Skate and sponsoring all of these contests that they're doing, this could lead to a lot for the new game. Like, for example, there could possibly be contests which are sponsored by other companies for the new game like they did with Miracle Whip that I mentioned. They've already done decks with control for the year two deck, which is a Skate 4 deck. I don't know what company they did with the year one deck, though. And also, the year two deck is in a collaboration with Dime, which is in a way a sponsorship, I guess. But there could be a lot of advertising for a lot of companies in Sam Vansterdam. I wouldn't be surprised to see it, but I really wonder what companies they could be. It could possibly be like Red Bull and even Monster again for contests or even just merch, I guess. 
I know there was a phone that we saw in one of the boardroom videos that they showed us. I don't know what the phone could be. But I don't know what company it may work with. Maybe it's not even a company. It could even do codes that we can redeem for in-game stuff like they did with the Dr. Pepper stuff for Skate 3. And they've done it recently in terms of Modern Warfare 2 has done that for a lot of the stuff with Mountain Dew. In the sense of zoomies, I don't know if zoomies would be in the new game because I know it's not as popular as it used to be. And it's I don't know what the reputation of zoomies really is like nowadays. And I don't know where people really go but any real life skate shop that they can represent in the game would be amazing just for the store's name to grow and really show what they're about and even sell some of the merch they make i also really hope to see more merch being made for the game in terms of just like clothes not just decks but clothes that people can physically get and honestly because of the brands we already know it would be sick if they collaborate with vans or even dime just to come out with some shoes for example or even a dime shirt which is in collaboration with skate i guess i don't know it would be sick if you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see in terms of the topic that i just spoke on or if there's any stuff i missed that they've already done in the previous skate games let me know in the comments below i love to see all the ideas that people have for the game i find it so interesting that this game is such a community built game and the possibilities of what it could be and honestly after years i'm still very excited for the game also don't forget to follow me on twitter